ticks are small parasitic bugs and most of the time they're just an annoyance. But depending on where you're working, they can be a real hazard. In the Americas, they can carry Lyme disease and in the wet tropical parts of Australia, there's a small one that can paralyze you and ultimately kill you. So here's a couple of ways to avoid coming into contact with them so that they eat other things instead of you. Ticks are parasites that live on the blood of mammals, humans, reptiles and birds. And they do that by biting the unfortunate animal, taking a meal of blood and then dropping off and hiding in the ground somewhere while they grow and get ready for the next meal. They have to do that three or four times during their life cycle before they breed. So to make sure that they can attach to another animal, they tend to hide in places where the animals come and sleep regularly. So it's a really bad idea to sit down and have lunch in a place like this where it's obvious that there's been some animals working around this place. There's lots of cow dung here, the earth's a bit disturbed, and it's dry, sandy soil. That's just the sort of thing that ticks like to hide in. So this would be a really bad place to have lunch. It's also a bad idea to sit down on pieces of fallen timber like this one. All those cracks and crevices in the bark are just a perfect place for ticks to hide. And on top of that, this one here is hollow. There's a good chance that there's a small animal or reptile living in there and that'll be a perfect host for the ticks. If you're looking for a place to stop for lunch, then this is the ideal sort of place for it. A nice smooth rock with not too many fractures and no vegetable matter lying about on it. A rocky surface around so the animals won't like to sleep here. And even if there are any ticks here, you'll be able to see them coming across the rock and deal with them. It's also a good idea to avoid walking along animal tracks like this cow pad, particularly when there's lots of overhanging vegetation. There are some species of ticks that will climb up onto the vegetation, wait for the next cow to come along, and then jump on as they go past. If you don't want that to be you, eh, maybe best to go across country. Clothing is your first line of defense. Long shirt, long trousers, gaiters, and long boots are the ideal combination. Needless to say, wearing shorts is a really bad idea. Ticks find it really easy to cling to the small hairs on your legs and grab you from there. Here's what I do to keep them out. Long boots that go well above the ankle, and then A bit of bug repellent on the socks. And then on top of that, a set of gaiters. They help to keep the grass seeds and everything else out of my socks. But they stop the bug repellent evaporating. And if the ticks go to all the trouble to get through all that, then it doesn't kill them but it'll put them off their food. In an area where the ticks are particularly thick, I might also put some around the waistband of my trousers, the joint in the shirt, and around the wrists. Anywhere there's a gap that the ticks can get in, they will get in, so every gap gets covered, and the ticks leave me alone. So there you have it. The best way to avoid getting bitten by a tick is to avoid giving them the opportunity to get onto you. And if that's simply not possible, then use clothing with enough barriers to make sure they never make it through to get to your skin.